Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing what I'm gonna be packing or preparing in my summer beach slash pool bag. I started preparing right now because I have a few family tropical vacations planned for the summer, like early on in the summer. And to try to minimize the anxiety and the stress and the chaos that is involved, especially for me, I can't speak on y'all's behalf, but I know a lot of my friends go through this as well. We have a lot on our plates these days. Um, but to try to minimize all of that, you know, chaos, um, I'm trying to prepare earlier in time. So that way I can kind of just have it packed, ready to go. So when it comes time to packing for these vacations, all I have to do is grab and put in the suitcase. I know one of the first things that pops in my head is SPF. And this happens to be one of my favorites. This is Hampton Sun. One of the reasons I'll tell you straight off the bat why I love this is it's reef safe. Now that I'm older, I try to do my part on trying to take care of the creatures or trying to take care of the planet. You know, um, I think that if each person does their part, I think we'll end up winning in the end. This is SPF 30. It is also a mineral based SPF, which is really nice. Um, other than the chemical based, um, I love the packaging. It's great for Instagram photos. I'm a lifestyle style blogger. I have to think of these things, but um, I love it. And when you wait to purchase this, like at a resort where you're, you know, I don't know where your vacation is, they end up jumping the price up on these things. And I know I remember I went to the Bahamas with my daughter for her senior trip. It was like a daughter, a mother daughter trip. And we spent like so much money on this. And it was just, our only choices was this and like an even more expensive one that I had never heard of. But um, so I've learned a lesson and I'm like, you know what, we really have to start planning better for these things. Even if it's just something so simple like SPF. Not only do we have to think about like our body, like the skin on our whole body, but we also have to think about our face. And I was once told by a dermatologist that you have to reapply SPF every three to four hours, especially if you're going in and out of the water or just laying there period sweating, you have to reapply. And I just, I don't know, I've just never done well with like body sprays onto my face. I feel like they're a little bit heavier and a little bit more greasy for my liking. I also don't want to reapply every two, uh, three to four hours a lotion because if I have a little bit of CC cream on or some lip gloss or something with a little bit of color, I don't want to smear that all over my face. And what are you going to do? Like go hang out with the mirror by the pool or by the beach. So I don't want to have to hassle with that. And so I trust you know, facial sprays with SPF. And this one is by Naked Sundays. It's the Hydrating Glow Mist SPF 50 plus, but it also has skincare benefits. It has watermelon extract, hyaluronic acid, and cockadoo plum. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm gonna Google it now because it sounds really good. Um, so one main thing that I love is that it's SPF 50 plus. And the second thing that I love is it's like so finely missed and it doesn't feel sticky. It's like you feel like nothing and there is a little glow. I don't know if you can see the glow on my hand and it smells lovely. It's like a hint of vanilla, almost like the Hawaiian tropic scent, but much lighter um, form of that. I also think that having a nice glow onto the skin is really feminine and it looks really nice especially if you have a tan going on. I love to get a spray tan and then the day before I go on my vacation, I love to just self tan my whole body. I like to get ultra dark. Um, and I don't know, I just can't tan like I used to in the sun anymore. Like ever since I started having kids, I would try to ba sunbathe in the sun and my legs and my arms just never get as tan as they used to when I was like in my teenage years. I don't know what the science is behind that. I don't know what the logic is. I'm not sure. So I definitely have to get a spray tan and along the way I have to carry some kind of like tanning mousse or something to touch up just because I like to stay dark on my vacations. It's good for pictures. It's just, it looks healthy. And when you use products like this, this is called the Pool Time Glowing Body Oil. It's by Summer Fridays. It's really nice. One thing that I don't look like about uh, glow body oils that I've used in the past is that they are filled with glitter and the oil just sits right on top of your skin. And I'm like, 
it feels icky, it feels gross. You have to take like a million showers to get all the glitter off. And this is not like that at all. The oil actually absorbs into your skin. It, I feel it makes it softer, like it conditions it because once you take a shower, I feel like my, you know, my skin's a lot softer and there's no visible signs of any of the sheen that's in here because if you look in the bottle, you can see that there's some kind of glitter action, but you can't see it after you shower. It's like gone, which is really nice. And when you apply it, you do see it, but then it just kind of like, I don't know, just makes it really nice and glowy and super sexy, especially if you put it on the front of your legs with that tan while going to dinner, you know, as your legs move, it's just such a nice look. And that's why this is a total must for my pool and beach bag. So we've talked about protecting our body and our face, but what about our lips? It wasn't until about a year ago I learned that you should also use SPF on your lips. I did not know that. I love this one. I don't know, I'm not gonna butcher the name on this. I will list it down below. This is the Mineral Alley Hydra Lip Mask SPF 15. This also comes in a variety of other colors. And I think I'm gonna order up the champagne color. This is a beautiful color. I'll test it on or swatch it on the back of my hand. It's not as dark as it looks in the tube. Um, it, it's so moisturizing and I don't only wear this to, you know, family vacations. I can wear this on date night, especially on those days that I don't wanna fuss with lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss on top of my lipstick. Like I just wanna like add something on my lips and go. This is something that I reach for and it's like the most beautiful color. It's like your lips, but better. It's just so pretty, moisturizing. Like I said, it's like a mask for your lips and so it's gonna protect it from all the UVA and B rays, which is really nice. The next thing is something that not a whole lot of people think about, but I do. I love getting my ends brushed off a little bit, kind of just getting, it just gives my overall hair a nice look. It looks healthy. And I also like to touch up the color, but you know, then you get to your destination and you're like, okay, pool water, beach water, like what the heck was I thinking? So to protect what I did and not, you know, undo it all, I love to protect my ends. And so what I do is I take a hair mask with me, a huge tub, because there's tons of girls in my family and we all are on the bandwagon for this. Everybody, you know, gets their hair done and everybody wants to protect what they have, make it, you know, make it last beautiful. And this one by Colleen Rothschild is amazing. I always sway and, you know, try so many other different hair masks, which uh, there are a lot of great ones on the market, but this one is one that I kind of always circle around if I, if I need something that I know won't let me down. Like it's guaranteed to work and give me the results that I want, like that type of scenario, that type of product. This is a Quench and Shine Restorative Hair Mask. So what I do is I wet my hair and then I apply this, I skip my crown area, and then I apply this to the ends of my hair. I use a wide tooth comb, comb it all out, and then that's how I do it. I just go and lay out by the beach. Um, sometimes I might wear my hair in a low ponytail, a low bun, or, um, you know, I'll just let it go free, whatever it is. And sometimes I have to reapply just ever so slightly, you know, just like a little bit. A little bit does go a long way, so this tub will last you a long time. Put it to you this way, we have Erica, Jasmine, Lauren, myself. So four girls are on vacation. We all have tons of hair, thank goodness. Um, and so we'll use this and I will still have maybe half the tub left coming back home from our destination. So a little bit does go a long way and um, you kind of have to watch the girls though because they always think more is better. So you gotta say no, you gotta learn how to work this product and use very little and try to make it last. So, um, but yeah, along with the heat from the sun, it also works in my mind or my opinion as a hair mask treatment. So when you're showering, getting ready for dinner, oh my gosh, you're left with just super hydrated, beautiful looking hair. And I love to tousle curl my hair all the time, basically. I mean, very rarely do I wear it straight, but when you tousle curl it, you can then see like really fast, the luminosity that it has because the light reflects off of the curls and it just looks so beautiful. You feel good and with all that comes confidence. I love to take a body mist with me. I know sometimes that might sound shallow, but that's just me. I've always been like that, to be honest. Like 
ever since I can remember going to Galveston Island, um, I used to live in Houston, Texas. So the closest beach to us was Galveston Beach. And well, it was Galveston and I don't even know, remember the names of the beaches, but we would go. And even back then, I remember always carrying with me a body mist or a body spray. And this one is a really good one. It's by the brand Fleur and it's called Vanilla Skin. It's really hard to find it on the shelves these days. I know I just looked right before filming this video and Sephora has it right now. So I don't know if it's gonna have it in two hours. <laughs> this, this, this product itself is so popular right now because it's going viral on TikTok. That's not why I purchased it though. The fact that it was vanilla is something that captured me. I'm a vanilla girl. I have so many fragrances. If you follow me over on Instagram, I talk about the uh, Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secrets. Don't knock it until you try it, guys. And what I love about that is the longevity and it doesn't smell artificial. You know, there's so many body mists out there that smell fake. And I'm like, I don't wanna smell artificial. I don't wanna smell cheap and fake, you know? This one, just, it, there's a sweetness about it. There's a femininity about it. There's just like, I don't know, I just love it. And so vanilla is definitely, I would say, my secret scent. Also because I can use it as a topper over any luxury fragrance that I already have and it just adds to it. Do you know what I'm saying? So I retired eyelash extensions about maybe eight months ago or so. I just kind of got over, you know, having to pay the money, number one. Number two, setting up the appointment. I was always having to finagle my way into a schedule and then laying there for an hour, sometimes longer, just out of my day, just didn't sound appealing to me anymore. So then I was just kind of trying to think about easier ways to give me that extension, eyelash extension look without paying an enormous you know, price tag and you know, something that I could do myself whenever I had time in the you know, privacy of my own home or on vacation. If I wanted to uh, you know, vamp up my eyelashes, make them look more voluminous, or just maybe putting a few at the corners just for an added something something. And then I found these, no glue is needed in these, and it comes with a mini applicator, which is really nice, because trying to apply eyelash extensions or like the falsies, it's a nightmare if you do not have tweezers or some kind of mini applicator to help you. These are great because I put them under, or these are actually meant to go underneath your real eyelashes, which makes them look super real. When you're looking down, no glue is visible. Nothing is visible but your own real lashes. So when you're looking down, looking up, wherever you're looking, they just look so real. And they're a fraction of the cost of eyelash extensions. And you can rewear these a couple of times if you don't apply mascara. There was times where I bought these maybe for an event, a wedding, you know, a charity event, whatnot and I would put tons of mascara on them, but I knew I wasn't gonna re reuse those. So if you know you're gonna reuse those, don't ruin them by adding ma mascara. They're actually perfect alone. Like if you just leave them alone, they're actually really, really beautiful. And the style that I find looks more like eyelash extensions and flirty and feminine is the edgy, wispy style. I've tried other styles, guys, and for some reason, this style just gives me that that look that you want with eyelash extensions. Do you know what I'm saying? So totally good and they're perfect for vacation because if you don't have time that crazy week preparing for your vacation, tying up loose ends so you can actually relax on vacation, you can just throw these in your bag and apply them when you get to your destination. So I'm gonna talk about two makeup products by Dibs. One is their the Duet Baked Blush Duo in Pop Star. Again, the packaging is awesome. I think the only thing I would say about this is instead of a screw off top, I wish it was a flip up top, okay? Because sometimes, you know, I feel like I'm gonna dig into the baked product and then miss it all up. But this is Pop Star. It is a duo, pink and a lighter like Barbie pink. So beautiful to take on vacation with you. You can um, use this straight up as a blush or you can use it as a blush topper. Either way, it works, it's beautiful. This just screams spring and summer to me and these two combination, like the Barbie pink and the corally color are colors that I reach for and I purchase alone anyway. So when I saw this, I was like, I gotta get this, this is great and um, you know, you can vamp up any look that you want, feel great, feel confident, 
and you know, be wonderful. The next one is an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palettes that I have now are like the big ones by like Too Faced or what's the other one, Urban Decay. They're like the ones in, although those give you lots and lots of options, they're beautiful colors. You know, I needed something for travel that wouldn't take a lot of space in my makeup bag and that would be light. Um, so just for reference, that's how small it is. It isn't tiny by any means, but it isn't the hugest thing. And just take a look at these colors, guys. These are amazing. You can definitely um, make or develop any kind of daytime look, nighttime look. You have a dark color here to make a nice smoky eye. You have a couple of metallics to kind of give you a daytime look. What I love about metallics is they really do a good job of opening up your eyes, making them look full and awake, which is great for daytime. And nighttime, you can add it to, you know, add some sparkle to the corners of your eyes and just give you a really nice smoky eye exotic look. So I'm happy that I found this. And then it also has this like taupey metallic color here, which is kind of reminds me of when I was a little bit like maybe in my 20s, I was about to finish college and I would just slap that on my eyelid and get out the door. And it just like, it was an everyday thing. Like everyone always said, oh my God, your makeup looks good. Your makeup looks good. And it was just like one color slapped on my eyelid and that was it. So that reminds me of that. And so I was like, I have to get this eyeshadow palette. It's amazing. I also wanted to show you guys my beach bag. I bought this off of Amazon literally for $15. It's a crocheted beach bag that I looked up on Amazon. I liked it because the straps were long and thin, which I find are more comfortable like around your arm shoulder area. And I don't really go for those huge beach bags. You know, I have young adults for kids, so they carry their own beach bags. They carry their own towels and everything. Hallelujah. And so this is basically just enough room for like AirPods, my phone, you know, my essentials that I just showed you. And I also love that it has a zipper because I could put cash in there, things that, you know, I don't want just loose around the bag. If I don't have a zipper in my beach bag, I then carry like a zippy cosmetic uh, bag of some sort, something plastic. Um, that way, if it gets wet or water gets in by, you know, coming in from the beach or reaching in, those things will not get wet. So that's pretty nice. And I love going for a crocheted bag because it is quality, good quality. It takes a good beating and it's perfect for the sun rays. And, um, and then a lot of times you can wash them on, on a, like a gentle cycle in the washer. So I think this is a really good size. Um, for some reason I looked to link it earlier and it was not available. That's not to say it won't be available when this video goes up, but in case it's still showing that I'm going to link some similar ones that are really cute that I saw that were kind of in the running for me to get those instead of this one. But when this one came in, I am I was so happy because I always tend to go with something neutral so it can go with all my bathing suits, all of my beach and pool attire. And this kind of just plays as a neutral thing that matches with everything. So I really like it and what do you think? Do you like it? Right, guys, it is Friday. Cheers to the weekend. I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment down below if I've missed anything, if I should add anything to this beach slash pool bag. I, I love recommendations. I always take them into account. Like with every video, everything's gonna be listed down below. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this video. I'll see you guys later in my next one. Bye.